Welcome to Tech Results Dharma. In this video, we are going to answer this question. You need to run SSIS package in Azure Data Factory. Where will you save the SSIS package? So this is very basic and uh, very actually important question. Uh, if you are coming with the background uh, with the SSIS uh, and now you are working as or going to work as uh, Azure uh, Data Factory developer, uh, they would like to ask you this question because a lot of people are running their SSIS packages in the Azure Data Factory. So let's go ahead and explore uh, our options of where we can save SSIS package. Um, so if I will take you to Azure Data Factory, here is the pipeline uh, and uh, in the pipeline now uh, we need the activity called the uh, execute. Uh, SSIS package. So see right there, that's our activity that can run SSIS package. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what are the location from which it can extract the SSIS package and run it. Go to settings here and the very first option we have here is called package location. And it is the by default showing you SSIS DB. That means uh, if you have saved your SSIS package in Azure SQL DB or Azure SQL Managed Instance, uh, then you will be able to use SSIS DB. When you create SSIS IR at that time, it asks you, hey, you want to save your SSIS packages in SSIS DB? And if we say yes, it asks you, okay, it is going to be saved on Azure SQL DB or Azure Managed Instance. Uh, so that, that there are two options for us uh, to create the SSIS DB there. And uh, we can either select Azure SQL DB or Azure Managed Instance. Uh, and then it will create the SSIS DB. We can deploy our SSIS packages. Uh, and then we can uh, use them here to run. Uh, okay, that was our first option, SSIS DB. Second option, file system. So you have a uh, blob storage. Then you create file share there. And then uh, upload your SSIS packages there. That's your second option right there. So you see right there it says file system. In the parents it says package. Uh, so you have uh, uploaded the separate package with the name .dtsx and also you can have a configuration file there that can be provided here. Now that's another option. Now if you have uploaded the .ispac file on the Azure blob storage file share then you can use the ispac. Ispac is going to contain your all the SSIS packages from the project. And then you can load, upload this ISPAC file to the Azure Blob uh, file share path and then use from there. So once you use uh, uh, upload a ISPAC, then in the drop down, or I just type the name of the package you want to see right there. Now I have the video on all these uh, um, deployments, so you can watch in the Azure Data Factory uh, tutorial playlist. Now there is another option called the embedded package. It means uh, you can drag and drop or upload the package right here in the Azure Data Factory. And uh, that's one of the options you have. So we have, uh, and the last option is called the package store. So let me take you right there. And here we are going to see package store. So package store, uh, see right there is once you select the package store, it is asking you, hey, uh, select your package store name. So as we don't have uh, created any package store, it's not giving us uh, that option. Uh. But uh, when uh, we can uh, use uh, the package store, there are multiple options we have. Now, with the package store, it's the old time deployment. Remember that in MSDB, we upload the SSIS packages in the, uh, and that's what it is going to be. I'm going to show you right now how this is package store work. So when you create your SSIS IR at that time, you can use or create the package store. And then you have three more options in the package store where you would like to save those file uh, DTA, uh, SSIS packages. Now let me take you to the Azure Data Factory here. Let's go to the Manage uh, tab here and then go to the Integration Runtime. Click New and here we are going to select Azure SSIS IR. Now few things we need to select like region, number of cores and all that. That's not really important here because we are looking for the location for SSIS packages. So see right there, that's where it is, is coming handy. Now, you can create SSIS catalog hosted by the Azure SQL database server or managed instance. That's why if you have to choose this option, then you are going to see that in the drop down SSIS DB. Now, if you have not used this one, then it is given you a second option, create package store. Remember, we were using, a, it gave us the option to select the package store. So you can create the package store here. 
So create package store to manage your SSIS packages that are deployed into the file system, Azure files, SQL server database, MSDB hosted by Azure SQL managed instance. So these are the three options you are going to get. Let's say if I select this one, it's asking me, hey, create your package store. Now I can give a name here, my package store. Okay, and now it is asking me create the link service. So if you see, it is asking me to create a link server and there are three types of linked services are available. That means connections. Now, if you see that Azure file storage, if I have a, or want to save my SSI packages in the file storage, I can use Azure file storage. And I can, I have given the name of the package store that I can use in execute uh, SSIS uh, package activity. Now see right there, that's the first option. So if I want to go ahead and select my subscription and then select the account and then it asks me, hey, provide the file share. I don't have any file share right now, so I don't have to provide it here. But if I will go and create a file share, I can do that. So now if I go to the home, I can go to storage and here in the file shares and I can create simply a new file share here called SSIS packages or whatever you know so SSIS packages and it will uh, okay so now I can go ahead and create and uh, right here if I refresh so see right there, it is showing me SSIS packages uh, file share. Now I can always upload my SSIS packages in this file share and then use this as a package store because I'm creating this package store right there. So let's say if I create right there, it's uh, gonna create this package store and uh, use it. Um, so the name of that one, my SSIS package store, that will I will use in execute uh, SSIS uh, package activity. Now there is other options available as well. Instead of using uh, this uh, file share, I can uh, go to the another option called Azure SQL Database Manage Instance. And remember, it is going to use uh, the location MSDB database uh, and uh, save the packages there. Now that's the old style of saving SSIS packages. There is another option called File System. So think about that if I have Azure VM and I would like to save all my packages on that shared location, I can always use this and create this package store and under the hood it is going to choose the packages from the Azure VM. So it's right there, it says the backslash backslash server name, then share folder and then I can provide my package name. So this can be used as well and I have to you provide username and password. So you can create the package store and in the package store there are three options for you Azure file storage that's file share and then you have a MSDB on the Azure SQL uh, database managed instance or uh, finally you have file system where you would like to save the packages on the some VM and share location and use from there now we we have learned all those different techniques here so just uh, let's uh, give an overview quickly and take a look uh, one more time so you remember now let me go back here cancel this out and here I'm gonna to go to my pipeline so in the execute SSIS package activity we have these options right there so one is the using SSIS DB second is the file system if I want to use a file share third one is the if I have uploaded my ISPAC file to the file as your Azure blob uh, storage file share and use the ISPAC and the use the package name from there I can upload my package directly to the Azure Data Factory and then uh, I can use a package store. When it comes to package store, there are three options. Uh, one with the Azure file share, second with the MSDB on the Azure SQL Managed Instance uh, and third one is the Azure VM uh, where we can have a, a shared location, shared folder uh, on the VM and uh, deploy our packages there or save our packages there and use from there. I hope uh, this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.